Tuesday, 24 November 2021, recommended three eminent personalities for this performance of the highest honorary award of the college, as prescribed by the Section 2, Part 2, Section 5 of the College Law. Major General, they are Major General Seidu, I already follow the time. Former military administrator of the state. Then Mr. Christopher Lakokumbo, Kalabi, Secretary of State Government, and Okumba Kunle Kalejaye, SAN, FCA, RP, Legal Luminary, and founder of Kunle Kalejaye. Major General, Major General said you are very valuable from the time. Was the best military secretary of the United States and the His administration established the college as a department under the Ministry of Health and thus became the first visitor to the college. And we have to remember him for being able to pull this work up. So we appreciate him. One, Mr. Joseph Nakokumbo, our very humble and hard working secretary for the state government, a very active philanthropist, with special focus on educational upliftment, upliftment. His appointment as the secretary for the state government has further deepened contribution to education, educational employment, uh, upliftment in the state, and the same by many as the engine room of the foreign administration, providing the needed impetus to drive the various policies of your Excellency Administration Policy Trust. On his part, Tumakule Kalejai Sang is a notable legal luminary in Nigeria, a philanthropist of note, a community leader by excellence. His contribution to the knowledge and education is of power. Recently, Tumba Kalejai deleted the 1,000 capacity hall in the college. This is one among its numerous contributions to the social economic development of the land and Nigeria as a whole. So thank you. Your Excellency, the awardees are eminent personalities deserving the highest honorary award of the college. To encourage them to sustain the excellent flags and to do more to serve humanity. Their full citation presented by the college, by the college auditors during the relationship with the staff, with the students, and the student bodies. We have equally paid full attention to the development of our students and development in our development over the years. We have contributed to operate and open student and jazz office with necessary degrees requiring temperate, temperament and experience in students' matters. Our result to help the students identify and grow their potential, encourage the public to operate a two-day leadership training retreat for the student union leader on the theme 21st century unionism, demand and the way forward, and equity resource to tell the whole day on third, on third, on the third and the fourth of the seminar, 2020. To say that we have honestly, we have a minus relationship with our students is an understatement, and we are giving them an open window to report any perceived case of oppression, victimization, and extortion from anyone. Your Excellency, very evidently, our solid, harmonious working relationship with our students and students with us to make this college an outstanding place to the envy of all. I was informed last week by the dean that the student union collaborated with some other departments 
mathematical assistant and uh, unanimously decided to use their own annual label to support the college in the construction of the drainage system from the college gate to the hostel. Yes, because if it had, they, they, when, when it rains, the flood usually is so heavy, we are lucky that we have never lost, we are sorry, we are lucky that uh, just last year we nearly lost one of our students to the flood. So we want to thank you for being able to bring up that. Furthermore, we can run an, on, uh, we can run an interactive portal. We run an interactive portal that takes care of students complaints and make every process easy for them. We remain committed to those ideals and shall continue to improve on what we have done in the past. Our future drive. Part of our strategic plan is to drive the college towards a transformation that will project it to deliver more on its mission. To this end, the management of the college at a point, during the last activity, proposed a change in the nomenclature of the college to a polytechnic status. We proposed a change from a state college of health technology initiative to a state polytechnic of health and allied sciences initiative. This was intended to expand the academic frontiers of the institution from the presumed mon uh, uh, mono monotechnic status, the levels by eight by the mono 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 uh, monotechnic nature, as given the status by the enabling law. Also, it is to elevate it to a status that will make it deliver more on its mandates, and the opportunities are bound. What is following this move that may usher in form for the college? The management gave a shot at the enlisting for that form, but met with hindrance at the of the college. However, towards the end of the last administration, the Open State as an Assembly passed a bill to change the name from the college to Open State Polytechnic of health and allied sciences. And, uh, but it was for us to now have the governor's asset, we were not able to trace the path up to this particular moment. Since the inception of our administration, we have also rekindled the idea and drafted a proposed law which has been sent to the Honorable Commissioner for Education, Science and Technology and we have made is so we have made it to understand that the office of the general is working on it. Your Excellency, we believe that this change in the Mexico will arrive in great fortune for the college, expand our horizon, assist us in the delivery of mandate for the teaming population of Oku State and beyond. Achieving this may seem a little demanding, but trust me, sir. The gains outweighs the demands. Similarly, we also requested that as part of this move, Your Excellency, remain in your magnanimity, bequeath it a campus extension in Your Excellency benevolent to the college. This will assist us greatly to begin a journey of academic exploration. Our challenges, Your Excellency, like all other institutions, we want to use this medium to appeal to users. We have been in some of peculiar and general challenges for fronting the college. I beg your indulgence to list some of them. There are many construction of the new administrative block to aid smooth running of the college, construction of the internal access road, provision of additional electric trackers, internal intervention on encroachment of the college, the provision of modern equipment in the area of the laboratory and so on and so forth. Acquisitions and
concluding remarks. Your Excellency, sir. Distinguished personalities, ladies and gentlemen, permit me again to use this video to appreciate the entire management team, staff, students, and friends of the college that the space cannot permit me to list for this unflexing support over the years. I'm most grateful to our union leaders who stood by us during thing and thing. We thank the host community leaders and their numerous for their numerous support. I must not end this speech without paying homage to the public in the noise guest of today and the long run uh, of the and the Sardinia of the Shoin and other monarchs, too numerous to mention. The Ministry Council of Chief is also appreciated for identifying with this college. My wife, Mrs. Karuna, I have said the other people, love me more, my predecessor, Dr. Tudi Dauti, Dr. Olusheku, Okuyi Onwo, Dr. Mrs. Olajide Aruwolo, and other founding members of this college. God bless you all. The entire management and staff too, too numerous to mention, because of space and time, I thank you all. And uh, finally, I will not forget other tertiary institutions that are there that have been able to grace this occasion. I want to thank you for finding time to come and rejoice with us. You will never know a better tomorrow. You will never know a better yesterday. Thank you. God bless you. Finally, I congratulate the graduates once again, and I wish them the very best of luck in their future endeavor. May God grant you jolly masses back to your various destinations. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year in advance. Thank you. The law establishing the Augustine College of Health Technology is available. I call the institution to grant and confirm honorary award fellowship on deserving and well-meaning individuals as the academic board is described. I therefore humbly invite the honorary fellowship awardees for today to for the performance of our work. I therefore invite our first recipient of the award, who is the person of Major General Balogun Saeki Ayodele, retired. May he stand, step to the front. I hereby call on the visitor to the college to stand by him. Also, the college director to be a citation. Thank you. Thank you very much. You ready, sir? The executive governor of the state, Your Excellency, Prince Dapo, Adiodo, LFA. The Honorable Commissioner of Education, Science and Technology, Professor Abayomi Arigapu. The Provost of the College, the invited guests, management members of the College, the way of others here present, former Provost of the College, members of the Academic Board, head of other tertiary institutions invited, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. It's an honor and privilege to be here today to read out the citation of the executive of the first executive governor of Ogo State, Major General Seidu Ayodele Balogo. The first military governor of Ogo State, Major General Seidu Ayodele Balogo between 1976 and 1978. General Joseph Gamba, a fine diplomat and a 
Nigerian Minister of External Affairs in his book titled Diplomatic Soldiering described a gentleman and officer as a person with great qualities. That quality, our fellow award of today, adequately fits into such quality. Standing before this August gathering is General Seidu Ayodele Balubo, retired. He was born in Iduani, Osi, local government of Ondo State. He joined the army in 1963. Before then, he attended Ansarude Primary School, Iduani, for war. He also attended Holy Trinity Primary School, Iduani, before he came to Oluwa College, now Adiola Obitola College, for his works in 1957 to 1961. Ijebode, no wonder he eventually became the governor of the state. He was spreading his heart home gradually. He attended the Nigerian Military Training College, Kaduna, between 1963 and also went to the U.S. Army Officer Cadet School, Fort Knox, Kentucky, United States of America, in 1964. He also went, attended the British Army School of Transport, Agassau, England, 1965. General Balu Moseyu Ayodele also attended the U.S. Army School of Transportation in Virginia, USA, 1970 and 1971. Standing before us today, he won many military awards and medals, including the Kentucky Distinguished Service Medal. And of course, General Seyed Ayer Dele Balogo also is in the Hall of Fame Award in the U.S. Army School of Transport, Virginia. He also attended the Command and Staff College, Kaji, Kaduna, in 1977 for his first uh, officer course getting promoted from a captain to a major. General Seyed Ayer Dele Balogo also attended the National Institute for Policy and Strategic Studies, Kuru, Plateau State, in 1982. Among the important military appointments held by Rivard General, the fine officer and the gentleman, include the following. He was battalion commander. He was also the brigade commander. Commander of the General Army School of Supply and Transport, and that is the soul of the army. The army cannot go to war front on his boots. They need the Nigeria military uh, direct house, Army School of Supply and Transport to get to the war front. General Seigo Ayodele Balogu was also the director of Supply and Transport, Nigeria Army, Lagos. He was also the quartermaster general, Nigeria Army, Lagos. Director of Ordnance Services, Nigeria Army, Lagos. His civilian appointments include Pioneer Military Governor, Ogun State, between 1976 and 1978. Please, can we give him a round of applause? <laughs> While he was this, uh, the first military governor of Ogun State, during that period, there is a Ayodele Balogo established what we are celebrating here today. He established the Ogun State School of Health Technology. It is a temporary site, Itamobiri, as at that time. Please, I will give you a round of applause. Tell us, sir, when you were having the mind to establish this great institution, a certain last opera in the Nigerian Army was also having the mind to conceive a great uh, idea, a great person. And that last opera was my father, last opera, Emu Agola. He also conceived in that very year. We conceived this great institution. We thank you so much. General Seyu Ayodele Balogo is also a devoted Muslim and a member of the Ahmadiyya movement of Nigeria. Shino Okubambo, in his book, Ogun State, died lead from the periphery to the center. Also, give credence and kudos to the enable work of General Seyu Ayodele Balogo. He has won so many awards. In his civilian posting as a military officer, he was the chairman, managing director, Nigeria Railway Corporation between 1985 and 1987. Extracurricular 
of the fine officer and gentleman include reading, music, and photography. He is the president of the Guadalupe Premier Club and members of other social clubs. There are S.A. Balomo, Lux, Plain Squatch, Racket, and Villa. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, Your Excellency, the Executive Governor of the State, the Honorable Commissioner for Education, Science, and Technology, all protocols really observed. I ever present to you, Major General Seibu Ayodele Balogo, FSS, TSS, Baga. You're welcome, sir. Your Excellency, sir, may I invite you to please decorate the awardee. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, while the decoration is about to commence, let me quickly recognize other dignitaries in our midst. It is my privilege and honor to recognize the presence of the Chairman House Committee on Education of the State House of Assembly, Honorable Adeyemi Ademuiwa, please stand up for recognition. Place a round of applause for him. Thank you so much for coming, sir. I also have seated next to him the assembly member representing this constituency. Please put your hands together for Honorable Fasua and by your agency. Please, sir, stand up for recognition. Thank you very much, our rep. We thank you so much for coming. It is my privilege and honor also to, to introduce to you the royal father that came in while the program was ongoing. Please put your hands together for Oba Abdurashi Omotayo Salami, the Sadirere Officer Idebu. Kadesi Adia Benuri Batakalese Oba Ashe Tiba Pafi Telekomishe Odori Ashisha Ibebe Thank you very much. We'll continue with recognition after the next award. Thank you now. Our own dear brother, Mr. Joseph Salabi, the current government of the state. Administration of Oduna Spring, therefore, at the Odu Senator. May I invite the Oriental to come forward and to read the citation? Thank you so much. And to read the citation of the Secretary to the State Government, Mr. Adeto Kumotanabe, is um, somebody that is very the finest man in the art of speech. Please, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Mr. Wale Busumo. Your Excellency, the Governor of the State, Prince Kapo Abiodun, in the represented here today by the Honorable Commissioner of Education, Science and Technology, Prince Abayo the Arigama, the Provost of this great institution, our father, the first Little Governor of the State, ably represented here today by our retired permanent secretary and currently the Chairman Civil Service Commission of the State, Engineer Tukubo of Deputy MNI. Our royal fathers that are present here, our guest lecturer for today, management team of this institution, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Ola Tukubo Joseph Talabi also known as Tooks, is a successful Nigerian entrepreneur and business strategist. He is the President and Chief Executive Officer of Superprox Group of Companies. Tokubo is a result-driven, self-motivated and resourceful CEO with proven ability to develop and strengthen management teams while maximizing business profitability and efficiency. Tukubo Talabi is the sixth 
and a family of 12 children born to Pa Olari Wadi J and Madam Comfort Adibi Pitalabi from Uri in Jebu, Ogo State, Nigeria. Tokuba was born on the 16th of June 1962 and married to Ademi Ola and that union is blessed with three children. Tokuba Talabi started his education with a primary school at the Lagos City Council School, Fadei, Lagos, where he attended CMS Grammar School, Lagos as well, for his secondary education between 1975 and 1980. He completed his first degree in medical rehabilitation from the Okafeniaulo University, formerly known as University of Ife, Ife, Nigeria, in 1984. From 1985 to 1987, he was a graduate student at the University of Lagos, Nigeria, where he obtained a master's degree in business administration finance option. Tokuba started his career as an administrative and marketing manager for office equipment reseller, John Bitola Enterprises in 1988, where he managed the finance, administration, and sales departments during his three-year stay in the firm. He joined Guaranteed Trust Bank, GTP PLC, as a partner staff in 1990. At GT Bank, Tokuba served in various capacities from deputy manager, corporate support services, to senior manager, corporate banking, and later as group head, retail delivery, where he was responsible for the management of all branch operations and administration nationwide for the bank. He voluntarily ended his banking career in 1998. Talabi left the banking industry in 1998 to set up Superflux International Limited, the thermos security printing firm in Nigeria, providing specialist security and other allied print solutions for sub-Sahara Africa. He's also actively invested in the end-to-end -end logistics and supply chain management services with ownership of Korea Plus Services Limited, one of the leading Korea logistic company, and Flux Logistic Limited, a warehousing and distribution services company. Tokuba Talabi is a major shareholder and co-promoter of Bitflux Communications Limited, a wholesale broadband wireless access service provider licensed by the Nigerian Communications Commission, NCC. Tokubo is a highly sought after and valuable resource on many company boards, some of which include Superflux International Limited, Chairperson, Papyrus Investment Limited, Chairperson, Agro Enterprises Limited, Chairperson, and Korea Plus Services Limited, Chairperson. Others include Flux Logistics Limited, Chairperson, Ritz Controller Services Nigeria Limited, Chairperson, and Great Nigeria Insurance PLC, Chairperson from 2013 to 2015. Others include Randon Mountain Specialist Hospital as a director, Monarchas Restaurant Limited, Red Care Services Limited, Touchdown Travels Limited, Proximity Communications Nigeria Limited, as well as Faint Foundation, all as directors. TT, as is fondly called, is an active member and supporter of the Deputy President, Finance and Administration, National Association of Small and Medium Scale Enterprises, a Chartered Institute of Professional Printers of Nigeria, readily where we can call him a printer. He's an entrepreneurial resident in the Entrepreneurial Development Center of the Lagos Business Award in school. Awards received include Professor COO Taiwo Award Best Graduating Students in Mathematics School Leaving Certificate in 1980. Legatum Pioneers of Prosperity Africa Awards Grand Prize Winner in 2008, as well as Faith Foundation Entrepreneur of the Year in 2009. Tukubo authored the book The Mind's Game, an inspiring guide for entrepreneurial success in 2012. Currently, he is the secretary to the state government 
of the Gateway State. Her Excellencies, very distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I present Mr. Tukumbo Talabi to be decorated and given a special award here today by this great institution. He's represented by the Special Advisor for Health Matters to the present administration, and that is a person of Dr. Tony Lawan. Thank you so much, Mr. Wale Dosumo, for that perfect presentation. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, members of the high table, I have the privilege and honor to recognize the, pres the presence of the rector of Mashud Abdiallah Polytechnic and personal doctor Adeoyi Adebeji. Please, sir, can you please rise for recognition? Make a round of applause for him. I also have seated with him Miss Professor A.O. Adeogo, who is equally representing the Vice Chancellor, Taishu Nari University of Education. Please, a round of applause for him. Please rise for recognition, sir. Thank you so much, everybody. We'll continue with the Our own plan, at the lesson, our benefactor, our father, in person of Tule Alegaye, son, S-E-I-A, to the son. Welcome to the college director to come forward and read this citation. Your Excellency, the Honorable Commissioner for Education, Science and Technology, the Provost, Heads of Tashari Institutions and Prison, please permit me to stand on the existing protocol. <laughs> I have the honor and privilege to read the citation of Otsuba Kule Kalejai, SAN FCARP. Atuba Kule Kalejai, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, Fellow Chatham Institute of Arbitrators, was born over 60 years ago in Ilese, in Jebu, in the state of Nigeria. His father was Pa Williams Adenoko Kalejai, and his mother was Madame Fibian Oluwafu Layo Kalejai. For his primary school education, Tule Kalejai attended St. Paul's Anglican School in Lese Jebu and Kola Soya Way to Success coaching classes. For his secondary education, he attended a uni high school in Bato and also multilateral grammar school in Kuroa. Indeed, Chief Ola Dr. Odunuga, who was his principal of at multilateral grammar school of Kuroa, identified his flair for the liberal heart and mentored him. Otubakule Kalejai SEN not only passed his senior secondary school certificate examination with distinction, but he was one of the best graduating students at that time. He was admitted into the University of Ife, now Obafemi Awolo University in Ife in the year 1979. He graduated with the best results in his set in the year 1983 and attended the Nigerian Law School in 1984. He was called to the Nigerian Bar on August 18, 1984, over 37 years ago. In pursuit of his quest for knowledge, Otubakuli Kalejai SAN pursued and ob obtained his master's degree of law in 1986 from Obafemi Awolowo University. His work experience started with the Nigerian Army as a legal officer. He got his teeth under the under allergy at the value of Shitu and also Komishola Oshobu deceased. He founded his own law firm, Kule Kalejai and Co. in the year 1988. In his pursuit of his legal career, Otuma Kule Kalejai is a friend of the cheated, the deprived, the unjustly persecuted. He had authored various articles and commentaries on law, which include, and not limited to, 
the ambitment as the people defend that myth of reality, corporate governance and shareholders' rights, legal theories and practicalities of sentencing, criminal trials and victims' rights, reconciliation and conflict management under the law, the Nigerian experience, the Nigerian job as an endangered species, judicial independence under the presidential system of government, a myth of reality, corruption in Nigeria, dissolution of marriage contracts, issues of jurisdiction, of principal authority of corporate managers, and the liability of the company, print and the band, the legal implications of parading suspects before the press, governments by oracles, witchcraft and juju in law, the American election and the rest, and a host of other publications credited to Otumba Puli Kalejai. Otumba Puli Kalejai is also an extreme cultural person, showing on equal tenacity in the support of various indigenous values conventions. In addition to his membership of the NDA, Otumba Puli Kalejai is a member negotiator and conflict management group and fellow Society of Law Citas United States of America. Otubakule Kalejai SAN is married with children. Otubakule Kalejai indeed has his preferment as a son in the year 2006 proved to be the very symbol of joy and fulfilled expectation crowning his story and his journey from humble beginning to a flourishing legal practice. He was admitted as a fellow of the Nigerian Chartered Institute of Arbitration in 2015. Otuba Kale SAN is an ardent believer in social service, especially as it relates to giving back to the society. He is a silent philanthropist and had single-handedly initiated and funded the following project. One, an ultra-modern administrative block built in memory of his father, at the Comprehensive High School, Ilese Jebu, the Ogu State Association of Nigerian Conference of Principals of Secondary Schools was impressed by the concept of the administrative board that the association honored Otumba Kalegari SAN at the general conference in 2011. Two, it built a water stream at the Tarishalari University of Education, Ijebu, Ijebu, to serve the university campus. Three, he funded and founded Watton Water for All project under which he single-handedly built water steam complete with electricity generator in 98 rural communities in southwestern Nigeria. That is why. Through his scholarship scheme, he produced 86 university graduates, 102 polytechnic graduates, and a host of others from colleges of education and colleges of health technology from Nigeria. He founded and built an ultra more than 200 capacity hall in memory of his mother at his alma mater, St. Paul Primary School, in Lesley Jebu. He built a mosque for the Muslim community at Oyopa Miju Street, Bashon Ibadan. He contributed immensely to the completion of the Ilese Central Mosque. He contributed immensely to the building of numerous churches and places of worship across Nigeria. He is an annual sponsor of Jerusalem and Mecca pilgrimage since 2009. He built and donated a thousand seater hall in honor of his sister, Mrs. Florence, at the Banjo at the College of Health Technology in Ilese Jebu on the spiritual side. He is the Dubai way of the St. Paul Anglican Church in this age the senior delegate for tickets and patron to various churches and societies of Tumpa Kule Kalajai SAN. Holds diverse children's title from across Nigeria, which includes Otumba Baadofi of Ilese Jebu, the Pogbadara of Oru Jebu, the Otumba Papadura of Ijebu Mushu, the Papa Niyu of Ido Oshu, the Okofi of Ido Ijebu Jebu, the Maiku of Ifo Oshu, the Atobite of South Ibe Kingdom, Aochi, the Sotiyaki of Busao Zampa, the Ashura Jumi Kabo of Ijebu, not this government of the state, Otumba Kule, is a 
the Vice Chairman of the USA Eagle Group Development Council and umbrella organization for all development activities of Eagle Group in USA apart from the Water for All program. Otumba Kule Kalegai SAN recently commenced the sinking of borehole in diverse churches in Nigeria. Thus far, 26 churches have benefited from this program. 11 from the Japanese. I want to make a mention. Otumba Kule Kalegai SAN is a recipient of numerous awards, which I am going to mention the very few because the list is long. The National Grand Patron Organization for Grassroots Support Development, the Patron Nigerian Bar Association of Elisa Branch, Friend of the Library, Nigerian Library Association, Merit Award, Open State Medical Students Association, Honorary Award, Eternal Separate Order of Cherubin and Serial Fund, Honorary Award, Dokita Editorial Board, Award of Excellence, Science Club, the Award of Excellence, Law Student Society, University of Bala, Award of Excellence, Oyo State Judicial Junior Staff Union, Alumni National Award, Obatu Bauro University, Award of Excellence, Teaching Service Commission of the State, the Japan Mark of the Year 2011, Flavor Medicine, and Funding Leader Award, Bacon University, Award of Excellence in Paul Church, Adol Wudu, Best Value Customer 2012, of NEPA. Award of Honor, Association of Resident Doctors, Patron Nigerian Bar Association with the Poetry Branch, Award of Honor, Association of Resident Doctors 2011, Open State Man of the Year 2014, Distinguished Alumnus in Union High School in Bangkok, Award of Excellence, University of Ibadan 2017, Front Liner in Legal Practice Practitioner by St. Paul Anglican Church in Ibadan 2021. Achieve excellence by Student Union Government for State College of Education, Epis Ep Episcopal Award by Diocese of Oshu, Award of Excellence Nigerian Police 2020, Distinguished Service Award of Oyo State Minister of Health, and a host of others. Too numerous to read out. Ladies and gentlemen, Otumakule Kalajaye is the chairman of Awuji Communications Limited, owner of Igu 102.5 FM in Lese Jebu. He is also the chairman, the chairman, Williams and Fidel Properties Limited, is a director of Catland Microfinance Bank. In Lese Jebu, is a consultant to Center for Black, Culture and International Outstanding. Your Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I have the honor and privilege to present for you as a recipient of the first award of the college, the distinguished son of the sun, an administrator by excellence, a legal luminary, a proud son of the USA, a legal luminary of international rapids, Otsuba Kule Kalejayo, S A N F C A R D. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. While that is going on, let me quickly recognize the presence of Mr. Olabanji John Olusoya, the representative of the rector of the State Institute of Technology in Best of the State. Please stand up for recognition. A round of applause for him. Also, Mr. Tajudi O. Ufman. Deputy Chairman, Conference of Alumni Association of Nigerian University. Please, sir, stand up for the promotion, sir. I also have the privilege and honor to recognize the presence of the Chairman of our host local government. Please put your hands together for the Chairman of the Abundant East Local Government, Mr. Polusha Badejo. Please stand up for the recognition, sir. A round of applause for him. Let me once again recognize the presence of one of our royal fathers again, Oba Engineer Mufutan Asali, the Moye Geso of Italy. Thank you so much for coming, Papi and see. Thank you so much, sir. Oba Asheti Baba Vintana Onisheu, Olo Yashisha Ibebe, Asha Pele Nubori Geso Kabi and see. I also have to tell on the item over here, Mr. Igbo Wusonde Adesoya is actually representing the rector Abraham Adesoya Polytechnic. He's actually the registrar representing the rector Abraham Adesoya. I have a 
2019-2020 academic session. School of Specialized Health and Medical Technician have done the young best graduating students for year 2020-2021 academic session. School of Environmental and Public Health was the year that we just ended at College of Health Technology in this age is Ojuokwe Taiwo Messi of Public Health. I want to respectfully and humbly recognize the presence of the Deputy Speaker of the State House of Assembly in person of Honorable Abulaki Abulade Balogo. Thank you very much, Deputy Speaker, for honoring our invitation. Members of the State Executive Council present here, members of the State House of Assembly present, special recognition to the Chairman House Committee on Education, Honorable Muiwa Adem, the Executive Chairman of the Executive Chairman of the North East Open Government, the Body of Former Provost of the College and other former Principal Officers of the College, other invited heads of tertiary institutions present here today, deans of schools and directors of hospitals, our distinguished prayer fathers. That present, in particular, the Lisey of the Lisey of our new and new Ladi, by our new Ladis. The way you get of the Kene, of our Kasali, Mustav, Kadi Lisey, the Sali Rene of the Shon, of our Abdulashid Salami, Kadi Lisey. Honorary awardees of the day, the third Major General Sayyid Ayyad Balogun, ably represented by the Chairman of the Civil Service Commission, Mr. Sikidor Gedman. The Secretary of State Government, Mr. Sikidor Talabi, ably represented by the Special Advisor to the Governor of Health, Dr. Kyoji Lawal. Otuba Kunde Kalegai SEN, members of the Academic Board of the College, teaching and non teaching staff of the College, leaders of the uh, host community, parents and guardians of the graduating students. All graduate students, student union body, greatest Nigerian students, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen. I bring you one good things of His Excellency Prince Dr. Dr. Adobu Enepar, the visitor to the institution and the executive governor of the state who for other state matters will not be here and I have to represent I read this address. Standing here today, we must appreciate the brains behind the conception of the State College of Health Technology, which is meant to be part of an interwoven strategy to lay a strong foundation for the future of the state. We are also related that since Establishment. This college has continued to fulfill the purpose of its establishment. It has also continued to maintain its reputation not only as the oldest state owned tertiary institution in the state, but also in the production of skilled and competent health officers 
technologies needed in the improving health, in improving the health sector and development of the state in general. And with the release of another set of quality middle level health technologies today, one can be convinced that this institution is also moving at par with the standards at which it was established in 1976. On this note, I join others to welcome all of us to the 2021 Convocation Ceremony of the State College of Health Technology, which is actually a combined Convocation Ceremony. I congratulate the management, staff, students, and the entire community of the State College of Health Technology, Gebu, in this Gebu, on this Convocation Ceremony. In particular, I congratulate the management and staff of the institution for their commitment towards sustaining the vision and mission of the institution. I must say, we are proud of this health institution, thriving especially in its various advanced health and technology-based programs designed towards enhancing capacity building for the continued development of the state in particular and Nigeria in general. I must commend the various valuable achievements of the institution in academic excellence, infrastructural development, and learners for outstanding performance over the years. We commend the prudent utilization of the internally generated revenue on useful projects, especially in complementing government towards infrastructural development in this institution. We are particularly proud of the achievements of the institution management and staff of the Polytechnic under the leadership of the Provost Dr. Eo Oladidoui. And we will continue to do one to support your efforts. I encourage the management to sustain its achievements, especially in the number of courses and programs brought by the school. I charge the institution, I, I charge that the institution should advance into other new fields of health technology that are relevant to the needs of the society. We should also explore other courses that will help improve on the well-being and wellness as well as welfare of the people. In doing this, we will continue to maintain your reputation of producing quality manpower for the health sector and serve as a center for engineering skills and tools as well as uh, in, in this period of COVID-19 and then and beyond. Above all, you should not relent in your services of providing for the needs of the society that you serve in the pursuit of academic excellence. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, let me felicitate the guidance of today for successfully passing through the rigorous but rewarding years of academic courses. I must say today that the celebration is an attestation of the fact that success comes after toil and hard work. It is my belief that the college would have inculcated in you the right spirit coupled with the training and necessary techniques capable of making you succeed in life. I therefore admonish you to demonstrate positive practice and values by your, by your words and deeds, which will make you worthy ambassadors of this great body. You should be diligent, dedicated, and distinguish yourselves wherever you go by contributing positively towards the development of our dear state, in particular, and Nigeria in general. As you go into the world to contribute your quota, you should remember that you are now transitioning into becoming shapers of other destinies. By your graduation today, as health experts and technologists, we know we now have the responsibility towards ensuring that the knowledge and skills bring more positive impacts to the people and, and the benefit to humanity at large. Be wise, responsible, in 
industrious, dependable, humble, and always portrayed positive character known of a worthy of a loyalty in the practice of your skills and profession in the society. As fulfilling as today we seem, we realize that graduation is not the ultimate goal. You have to take everything that this institution and the world has taught you and go forth. This is your flight runway. Now take care. Moreover, you should ensure that you are good ambassadors of this institution in all that you do and anywhere you find yourself. You should also comport yourselves with dignity in whatever situation life may place you and in manner befitting of a worthy uh, product of an health institution in a year. By branding yourself in excellence, this product grants this great institution. You will be part of this great institution's body of alumni. That body also has a responsibility to ensure this institution continues to grow. Your alumni association was a part of the success story of school and return to investment needs on them by the school in terms of partnering, endowment, tangible projects, and other contributions to their alumni. By doing this, all will be by doing this you will be important partner in the successful and continued implementation of the building of future together agenda the establishment of this health institution here at Ilese has contributed in no small measure to the socio-economic development of Ilese town and its environment. At this point, let me use this occasion to reiterate that as a government, education is very important to us. That is why education remains an important pillar in our development plan. Since we came on board in 2019, we have continued to embark on massive renovation and rehabilitation of schools to bring them back to shape. A total of 956 blocks of classrooms in primary and secondary schools have been renovated and also rehabilitated across the 236 wards of the state to date. We abolished all forms of payment in our public primary and secondary schools and returned running costs for head teachers and principals. We also released data promotion dating back to 2016, upgraded and categorized our schools into flagship schools, invested in training and retraining, including over six trainers. <laughs> Under the teach scheme, a total of 5,000 teachers are being recruited and posted to rural schools. We have also consciously rewarded academic excellence through our award programs with cash, scholarship, and other material benefits. We are happy to see our students continue to put up best performances in major academic and technology skill acquisition programs and sporting activities. We have kept faith in the discharge of our responsibility of conducting the transparent accountable and open door administration. I must say that I'm particularly thrilled that we have been keeping the flat plan in our endeavors to seek more purposeful and global space of development in the nation. This is because we remain the nation's education capital. The establishment of the Tech Hub is part of the, our deliberate and calculated approach to revitalize technical education in the state. Very soon, through the Open Digital Economy Infrastructure Project, all our schools will have free internet access 24 7. In fact, the ongoing massive infrastructural rehabilitation of public schools in all parts of the state is not only to produce, to provide conducive ambience for teaching and learning process, 
but also making the learning environment to meet up with global standards and best practices. Among other interventions to improve on our state special education, we have granted 200 million annual state education intervention fund for the development of infrastructure in state-owned tertiary institutions. We have also approved the rehabilitation of internal and access roads of tertiary institutions. We have approved the purchase of buses and other necessities for our tertiary institutions. Approval has been given for scholarships for outstanding students in all state tertiary institutions. Approval has been given and indeed we have commenced payment of bursary to the state indigenous in all tertiary institutions in Nigeria. <laughs> Approval has been given for the Ogun State Education Intervention Fund as a special intervention fund for the education sector. Approval has been given for the construction of building projects in all state tertiary institutions through counterpart funding. All this we will continue to do as part of our commitment towards creating technical capacity required for our people to nurture their potential for the future development. In fact, we have continued to provide and enhance capacity and skills of our people as necessary for the continued development of our real estate economy. In this wise, our administration will continue to support and create conducive ambience, not only for the efficient and effective service delivery of all our tertiary institutions, but also the realization of the potentials as capacity builders for economic development. As a matter of fact, as we will continue to deploy resources within the available means towards ensuring the continued well-being, wellness, and welfare of all personnel in our tertiary institution. Also, we we'll continue to improve on our policy formulation and program implementation towards ensuring the development of the, of the education industry and all other sectors of our plastic economy. I call on all well-meaning individuals, corporate bodies, and other players in the private sector to come and partners, partner with us with the state you will find us ready, willing, and worthy partners. At this point, let me congratulate the honorary, let me congratulate all the honorary awardees of the day. Major General Seiko Arigili Balogu retired, the first military governor of Ogun State. Also, Mr. Tukumbo, Allah Tukumbo, Joseph Talabi, the Secretary of the State Government, and uh, in fact, Otumba Kuli Kanegai, SDN. All these awardees sincerely deserve this honor. I therefore urge you not to relent, but to continue to render your selfless services to humanity and humanity. Let me also use this opportunity to appreciate the convocation lecturer of today, Professor Mara, Professor Ahmed Tigani Mara, for that wonderful lecture. We have really done justice to the topic and really enjoyed the topic. Thank you very much. Once again, I congratulate the management and staff of the State College of Health Technology in this year. On this occasion of the 2021 convocation, which is a combination of uh, uh, outstanding ceremonies from 2014 to date, six outstanding convocations. Congratulations. I appreciate all our parents and guests, friends and well wishers who are here to honor our dragons and share in the joy of today. 
as I appreciate all the people of Ulysses Town and Ijebu Land in general for hosting this important occasion. I commend the organizers and all persons who have contributed into making this event a reality. I wish you all a fulfilling and memorable occasion ceremony. I thank you all for listening and God bless. The big guy, hello. I go to you one. Please, that my girl, you can never have got none of the state. Thank you very much. Please, Mr. Tech, thank you very much, everybody. Your Excellency, Honorable Commissioner, sir, I would like to pray for your indulgence, sir. The Honorable Commissioner, sir, I would like to pray for your indulgence, sir. We want to quickly write some mistakes that was on the program of items, sir. Please, Commission Captain, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, members of the high table, I have the privilege and honor to invite one after the other some of eight of other tertiary institutions that are here to come and give all these graduates their goodwill messages. Go on. Go in the characteristic manner of His Excellency, the best graduate students in the institution. You are the best recognition. Um, because we have six, we have six outstanding patients, and we have best graduating students for each of the um, ceremonies. The six best best graduating students, that is one each for each year, we all be given an automatic employment from the authority of the government of the Hello, please, stand in ovation for His Excellency for that uncommon feast. Thank you very much, His Excellency Governor, Prince Dr. Dabo Abiyadu MFR. On behalf of the management of this institution, we appreciate this uncommon gesture. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Please be seated. for also Professor A.O. Adelgo representing the Vice Chancellor Taisho Mari University of Education in Jambu. Please put your hands together for Mr. Omabanji John Olusoya, the representative of the Rector of the State Institute of Technology Ibesa Ogu State. Thank you very much for coming home. Thank you so much sir. Your Excellency, all the members of the ITB, on behalf of the three hour deeds for the second convocation ceremony of this institution, I have the permission of the purpose and other management team of this institution to invite to join the microphone of Tuba Kuli Elijah, Senior Advocate of Virginia, FCRV, to respond on behalf of the other hour day. Thank you very much, sir. for education. The promise of the state for the health education technology. So that would be a distinguished competition lecturer and chairman of the first most especially my Baba, the Lese of the Lese, 
the distinguished members of the academic board of this great institution, the graduates, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Well, I have been requested to speak on behalf of the awardees. It is essentially, I'm going to speak on my own behalf. I want to thank this great institution for honoring us with this award. I'm told that it's the highest honor that you can give anybody in this school. And I say that we all appreciate it. When I was informed that I was to be honored, I was a little bit reluctant because in my own view, I have not done anything in this school at all. I must tell you that I have a pact with this land, with this legacy, that I am going to live it better than I met it. So I want to assure the, the provost that I will be in the forefront of attracting sponsorship and patronage to this school. And for starters, I'm going to launch two prizes today. The first one is the Equal 102.5 FM Award for the best graduating student. The award will carry a cash prize of 200,000 every year. And it will be reviewed upwards as the Naira declines or improves. The second award will be instituted in the name of the Elese of Elese. I will consult Baba to give me his designation for that award. It will carry a price of 200,000 Naira every year. Your Excellency, at every occasion that we meet, and I went down to talk to you, I always mention this lesson road. Again today, I am going to mention it. Your Excellency, I remember that when you evinced the intention to run for the office of government, the first time that you stood to address people in this state as candidates that were was in this compact. I remember the students some of them who have been told by your opponents not to allow you to pass through in this way, they changed overnight and gave you a rousing welcome. When your convoy approached this place, they barricaded the road. Your security people, they were agitated. They thought they wanted to cause Wala. But the students insisted that you must come down to address them. You are on your way to Atom to launch your political career and campaign. So you came down from your vehicle and your campaign vehicle was driven into this compound. And under that tree, you address the students as candidate that for the first time. I'm going down the minute I normally 
to tell your excellency that you have a part in this school. You must do something meaningful and essential for this school. And that could be started by doing something about this room. I would have preferred the provost to put this convocation during rainy really season so that your excellency can appreciate what this place is going through. about the next year. It is becoming a disgrace to your government. You are doing very well, but you must complete that way very well by completing this way. On behalf of the school, I want to thank you, Your Excellency, for providing the amenities. And this school can still do with me. We will continue to appeal to you to put it in the compound. I thank you very much. Students, I want to congratulate you. You have been well behaved. I, I don't think you listen, but at least I come to listen three times in a week. And not once. Have I heard that you disrupted the peace of the nation? Yeah. It is something that you should clap well for yourself. So I want you to clap. Now that we have done that, I look into your midst. I can see that about 80% of you are women. Where are the boys? Where are the boys that will marry these girls? Our boys are no longer going to school. You will hold a duty to this country to send those, to send those boys back to school. If you go into the institution of Ireland in Nigeria, all the management committee of the University of Ibadan, only the vice chancellor is the man, women. And as we the swearing of yesterday, we have about 15 women now. In Lagos State, you have 36 judges. 30 of them are women. Now, my worry is this. If nothing is done to send our boys back to school, if you ladies allow them to continue to do their room, there will be no responsible men to father your children. So, you must encourage to go back to school. If not, you will have quality women and what? Bad husband. Bad husband. And it will not be good for the future of our country. What I'm saying permeates all professions in this country now. It is the girls that are going to school. Where are the boys?